late. It's 8.30 in the morning and today I'm meeting with a couple of work friends and we're going to be doing the 50 mile Chester route. Oh, it's probably the earliest I've been awake in a long time. It's a nice day. So yeah, I'm just going to make some breakfast quickly. Get a shower. And get ready. Oh, and also I bought something from the camera. These go over the microphone, so hopefully you don't hear that horrible wind noise when I'm outside recording on my bike. So yeah. <laughs> right, so we just come to our first stop, Dalamere Forest, which is um, 35 kilometres in, and we've been riding for an hour and a half. We've done a few hills, I'm not a fan still. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, though, Chris, his machine. Well, fair, fair dudes, he always waits at the top for us, he's nice. Because <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> that right, so yeah, um, how long left have we got? When's our next stop? Um, no. Whenever so, we need a coffee. Another couple of hours then we'll stop again. So altogether we'll do about 100k. 100 kilometres today. Wish me luck. Right, so I'll see you at the next coffee stop. Oh, and the sun's coming back out. Perfect timing. I take back everything I said about cycling in England. Once you get into the countryside, it's absolutely beautiful. Also, I hope you can hear me much better. So I've bought some uh, wind mufflers for my camera. So as you can tell in my last video, it's just the whole time. So hopefully it's a lot more clear this time. So yeah. Just some of the view. This is amazing. So I'm not sure how long we've got left to be honest to the coffee shop. Right, for like one hour and 50 minutes now. I think we've got like another, maybe another hour until we stop again for another coffee. So I'll try and get some more video when I get to there. Oh, I hate hills. I hate hills. I hate hills. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. This is why biking is the best sport in the world. Nice around here, isn't it? Beeston Castle. Easy that one, eh? Easy. Honestly. Whew. 
this place. Breathtaking, literally. It's not the hills that put me out of breath. It's the, it's the landscape. That's our third stop, and look what I've done. 100 kilometers. We're in halt at the moment, and we've got another, how long do you reckon we've got left home? Uh, it depends what we do. Yeah. These guys are crazy and they want to do 100 miles, but <laughs> I work in metric, you know. And only 25, you see, we use metric nowadays. So 100 kilometers is plenty of what's the local, here, What's the local taxi numbers? <laughs> Hey guys, um, so today's actually Tuesday, two days after my bike ride. I know I was expecting my video to come on Sunday, but literally I've just been lying in bed the whole day watching TV. But yeah, hopefully today I can get back on my bike, even if it's just doing like 10 miles or something, I want to try my best. As you can see uh, from the start of the video, um, the plan was just to do 50 miles, but in the end, we ended up doing 100. I'll post um, my Strava thing up now. You know? like the video please like it comment subscribe if you didn't like it put the thumbs down let me know what was wrong with the video so hopefully I can improve and also as always the links in the description if you want to follow my Strava if you want to look at the the bike ride that we'll be doing on the 21st of June and if also if you'd like to donate it'd be very much appreciated oh and just one quick thing before you go um 
I'm not sure if many of you realise, but I am studying computing and IT in the Open University for a degree. And currently I'm designing a website for um, one of my assignments in university. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to actually take the coding that I'm doing for my university work and just copying it over and creating an actual website for my YouTube channel. I understand that I'm not popular right now. I'm only getting like 100 views per video but I feel like a website would be great because I'm taking so many photos on my travels with this camera that look amazing but photos don't really translate onto a YouTube video really well people don't want to see like a slideshow really do they so I like to post my photos on the website and also I'll be able to like do actual blog posts where I'll be able to talk about what I've been eating and things like that okay and then people can follow my blog also I'll be able to put like a lot more boring details about what I've been doing so yeah I will make sure that I let you know as soon as my website's complete I don't think it will be ready yet until at least the end of May I want to get make sure everything's um, working fine with it yeah I'll see you next time